reviewing the Thermal Take Assassin X120 Redefined Special Edition. I love Thermal Right. Thermal Right makes some really good cost effective AI coolers. I use it for my personal test bench with my new system I just built. And we're going to be using this as well from our new Intel based system that we're going to be selling here in the next couple days. So let's take a look at the Thermal Right uh, 120 Redefined. This cooler is very inexpensive. We're going to be putting it on this Intel board here. So again, everything's nice and sealed. Doesn't seem like the best way to seal it, but Thermalrite does what it needs to. Open it up. You're presented with an installation guide for all sorts of different variations. Sorry. Different variations. Uh, we're going to be installing this on LGA 1700 or maybe, no, it's, 11, it's 1200, I think. Yeah. So... All right, pull it out of the package here. Gee, doggy. Got to make sure you peel that off. We're not going to do that right now. Comes with all the insulation as well as Thermal Rights compound. Well, that's just always nice to have, although we don't really need it. Okay, throw all this stuff back. It also comes with the 120 fan as well. Put the back plate through this. So one way to do it is hold this up. You can take these off for double-sided tape. Um, I never do. It's not going on permanently, or the other person may not want it on permanently. And do your thing here. It comes with a package of AM4, AM5, 1700, as well as 1200 or L uh, LGA 1150. So we're going to take these off. Stack these. Okay, and now this goes on like so. I always like to just pre-inscrew this, this. What I like to do is just kind of get it partially started. So, again, put one screw in. So a screw has to go on the inside of this. There's like two screws. It got it has to go on the inside of that. For this for this mount specifically, please check the installation guide for your specific cooler. For for 1200 specifically, uh, 10th or 11th gen Intel specifically, and I guess technically everything below that. So LGA, um, you know. Any, everything from 11th gen Intel basically to, um, to I think what, like 1300 or the rise or Intel first gen, I think, right? That's, I think, basically the socket. So make sure to rip this bottom off. You'll have a bad day if you don't do that. We're going to make sure the logo faces up. Already got some CPU thermal paste on there. We're going to tighten one side. Tighten the other. Okay. Get underneath this fucking thing. There we go. Now, uh, let's get this routed. CPU fan plugs in like this. So I always like to wrap it so it's nice and secure. Or you can leave it in, wrap it underneath like that. 
don't matter too much. Um, and then I think it usually goes on the outside of these. show you on this side as well cables nice and tight you're gonna to want to take these clips and put them through the fan holes so through this fan hole like that through this fan hole like that press this cable down and wrap it behind the little fan header boom coolers ready to go it really should have another one it feels kind of there I guess, but CPU cooler is installed and ready to go. Now let's take a little bit of a performance once we get the case in and we'll do some more benchmarks. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. And the highest the CPU ever got while downloading games and all their, uh, just kind of downloading games and stuff was 39 degrees Celsius. Uh, so that's pretty good. I'd say it's not, not bad. Um, we're going to be doing a Prime 95 benchmark here shortly to kind of see how hot it gets on, on some testing. So we'll have some more numbers for you here shortly. Thermalite air coolers are phenomenal, and with the thermals on Red Dead Redemption 2, as well as 100% utilization on Prime 95, this thing is more than capable of handing any heavy loads that it is coming after. Granted, it's going to determine on based on CPU and all that kind of stuff, but Intel basically it runs pretty, and the wattage is pretty well on it. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a lower end skew of Intel, but... Every cooler, every water cooler that I've ever paired with these systems have been absolutely phenomenal about handing anything that it comes in contact with. And honestly, for like the 17 bucks that you pay for these things, it's a freaking amazing deal for a cheap cooler. And honestly, it's on par with their water coolers. Their water coolers are also really well um, suited. Uh, if you guys want me to review those specifically, if they're reliable or not, I can definitely do a whole video on that series and kind of show you what is going on with it. So... Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.